Hi, in this second part of the video series on getting started with 3D printing at the LTU Print Lab, um, I'm going to be setting up preferences in the Prusa Slicer. So in the previous video, I downloaded and installed the program on my computer. Here's the installation uh, file right here. Uh, but to begin with, I'm gonna click on uh, the Prusa Slicer icon to open up uh, the program. Uh, the first time you open the program, you may need to uh, go into the configuration wizard. Um, I have actually opened this program once before, and so you can see on the screen um, a couple of things already in place, uh, but I'll review how to get to this point. The configuration wizard can be launched a second time uh, or at any time following uh, by going to the menu at the top and selecting configuration wizard. Um, so this is what you'll see pop up if it's a new installation for you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start clicking through these dialog boxes. The first thing you'll notice is that uh, to begin with, uh, it's likely the uh, Prusa Mini is selected as uh, one of the printer profiles to load. We're gonna be unchecking that and instead we'll be adding a check mark uh, in this uh, printer category right here. Um, the i3 make 3s is the model of printer we have currently um, and I'm going to add presets for the 0.04, the 0.06, and the 0.08 nozzles um, and then click next. I'm going to skip past some of these other printers and um, other vendors um, and I'm going to stop on the filament profile section where I'm going to be looking for uh, some generic filaments to begin with. Again, during the original installation, you will probably see that many of these Prusa branded um, filaments are uh, selected initially. Um, we can uncheck those during the installation process and instead scroll down to G for generic. And uh, we're going to want to make sure we have a few common types added. Um, ABS, PETG, and the most important one uh, for our lab is uh, the generic PLA profile, just as a starting point because PLA is the material that we use most frequently in the lab. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Um, and just point out that there are regularly updates to the, uh, the slicing program and some of the profiles. If you're okay with uh, auto updates on your computer, you can leave these checked. Otherwise, you can uncheck them. And I am also going to choose to associate the .3MF uh, file extension and the .STL file extension to the Prusa slicer. Um, on my computer, at least, uh, STL files are most commonly going to be uh, directed uh, toward 3D printing, and for that, I'd like to open the Prusa Slicer. These can also be selected in Windows um, uh, under default programs. And finally, uh, the last pane in the installation window is regarding the viewing mode, which I'll explain uh, in another series of videos talking about um, how to set up your, your 3D prints. All right, that'll be all for uh, this video. Uh, when you click OK, you should see uh, the build area update to represent um, the build volume for our 3D printers and also visually uh, what it looks like. All right, stay tuned uh, for more information on how to set up your first 3D print. Thanks.